Good afternoon. Welcome to the WISE Debate 3.A. Um, this is a debate about the role of the media in higher education. I'm Don Guttenplan. I'm the lead education writer for the International Herald Tribune. And um, I'm going to introduce you very briefly to the rest of the panel, and then they'll say a bit about themselves and their publications and their publications' relationship with education. So immediately to my left is Sunit Jahar, who's from the Times of India. There's Luc Bronner, who's from Le Monde, and Philippe Kella from Euronews. Um, I'm going to start. Uh, we, we have uh, the IHT, for those of you who don't know it, it looks like this. Uh, it's a print media publication, but we are also on the web. We are the global edition of the New York Times. And we cover education around the world, but particularly every Monday we have an education section. Um, the IHT is also frequently used by English language schools and colleges around the world. So if you, if you go to uh, lots of parts of the world where they teach English, you'll find stacks of the IHT used as course material. We don't write it with that intention, but it is used that way. Um, our education section focuses uh, mainly on professional and postgraduate education in the IHT. The New York Times, of course, covers education from birth to grave, but uh, we cover mainly postgraduate and professional education. Uh, Sunit, all yours. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm from the Times of India, which is the largest uh, media group in India. Um, it has the Times of India newspaper, which is the largest English broadsheet in the world, um, with a circulation of 4.4 million daily, and a cumulative readership of over 13 million. Uh, it also uh, brings out the Economic Times, which is the second largest financial broadsheet in the world after the Wall Street Journal. It has other publications and a strong presence um, on the internet uh, with ty.com and uh, in radio, um, mobile, and television. Um, should I speak about the uh, role of the Times of India in education now? Sure. OK. Sure. Uh, the Times of India also uh, plays a huge role in education. Broadly speaking, um, it's in revenue generation, information, and corporate social responsibility. Firstly, I mean, as a private company, we have to generate revenue if we are to play in that field. And education is amongst our top three advertising verticals, generating about $60 million in revenue for us. Uh, in addition, we have a very large newspapers in education program, uh, which comes out in 11 cities of the country, reaches more than 2,000 schools, and we print more than 600,000 copies daily. Uh, this comes out five to six days a week, depending on whether the school runs for five days or six days in the week. And this is a profitable initiative for us, uh, surprisingly. Um, it, it's a special edition, a student edition, which is targeted at students, and it's an eight-page broadsheet, whereas the main Times of India, which goes to adults, can be anywhere from 24 to 32 pages plus supplements. In addition, uh, we have an Education Times supplement, which is distributed free of cost every Monday uh, with the Times of India. Uh, it comes out in 22 cities with a circulation of 4.4 million. And it broadly uh, fall, gives four kinds of information. Educational opportunities in India, educational opportunities abroad, counseling for students, and advertising from private schools, private colleges, the government educational sector, as well as coaching institutes, which are now huge in India, and uh, prepare 12 standard students for entry into undergraduate courses. Uh, we also run a mission and mission program, which um, guides students in Delhi through the labyrinthic process of getting admission into Delhi University, where the number of seats are very limited. Uh, this we do via massive print coverage as well as through a dedicated website, counseling, and face-to-face uh, -face sessions with students. Uh, we also run a Teach India initiative as a corporate social responsibility initiative. We spend $2 million behind it every year. Uh, this runs out of Delhi and Bombay. 
where we um, basically teach uh, adults who've completed their 12th standard education and who come from the underprivileged sectors. We teach them a three-month dedicated English language course designed by the British Council. Because what we found in India is that knowledge of the English language can double or even triple your salary potential and breaks you out of the cycle of poverty into the so-called lower middle class. So with this three-month course, it's not just English education. After that, we also run placement services for them, whereby organized retail, the, okay, sure whereby organized retail, fast food outlets, as well as coffee chains come and recruit them. Uh, we also have several other initiatives. We run a time school of journalism and a time school of marketing as a sort of kitchen garden to generate uh, and train journalists and marketing professionals for our company. Thank you. Thank you, John. Luke? Um, uh, as a chief editor for Le Monde, I will be quite modest in front of you because uh, the figures uh, for circulation you gave us are quite impressive. Um, Le Monde is one of the most famous newspapers in France and um, um, education is um, the, the heart of all um, attendance. I mean, for years, Le Monde um, has decided to produce some uh, editorial contents um, for teachers, for students, for pupils, for parents. And it is one of our um, main goals because we believe that education is um, one of the most important subjects uh, for political debates, economical debates. And um, I w want to say how important for us is the wise uh, because it is um, the best place to um, to meet uh, actors for education and how important are for Le Monde educational debates because we believe that um, it is um, one of the most important subjects. Just a, a, a joke, um, a former Minister of Education uh, said in France a few years ago, his name is uh, Xavier Darcos and uh, uh, he made a comparison between soccer and education, uh, saying that in France we have 65 million citizens. And uh, as a joke, he said, uh, when the national team is playing, we have 65 million uh, national coaches. And um, he always said that in France we have 65 million ministers of education. And I think he's quite right because um, about education, almost everyone uh, can have a uh, his own uh, idea and uh, I think that um, most of parents, most of students, uh, teachers can say um, what should be done for universities, what should be done for um, primary, sc primary schools and so on. So um, for Le Monde, uh, which, which circulation is um, really modest, I, I don't know if I can say it now, but it is something like uh, 300,000 uh, each day, and uh, our website is something like um, two million um, each day. So, it, for, for France, it's uh, we have quite good results. But uh, education is uh, one of our strategic issues uh, for the next years. Thank you. I just want to say. Um we would all love to have the Times of India's circulation numbers, but uh, look, I think you're being a little bit too modest. I think uh, Le Monde is the, the lever that moves the francophone world, so uh, where, you put the, where you put the fulcrum may not matter quite as much, but I, th I think you know, we all pay a lot of attention to what Le Monde has to say. Uh, Philippe Kela, please tell us about yourself and Euronews, and then there's going to be a brief film. Thank you. Uh, Euronews is uh, in the TV industry, uh, conversely to my colleagues who are in the print industry. So maybe we could start with a short video to, to stress what we are, more or less.
So Learning World is uh, one of our key programs. But before addressing that particular point, I would like to give you some uh, background about Euronews for those who don't know what it is, uh, why we are here. Uh, Euronews is an international news channel, uh, which is uh, broadcast all over the world. We are using a network of 38 satellites, so available, it's available everywhere in the world. In addition to that, it's a multilingual channel, uh, conversely to my colleagues who apparently speak uh, either English or French. Euronews uh, speaks 11 languages, uh, including English and French, but with uh, nine other languages, which is very specific and important for Euronews because to give you a very simple figure, we have computed that with the 11 languages we have, we can be understood by half of the world population. So it gives you an idea of uh, the range of people we can address with this uh, multilingual the real reach of your news is only, I would say, 350 million people, which is 20% of the world population. So it gives you an idea of the target we have coming from 20 to 50% of world population. This is the reach, but of course the audience is not uh, at the same level because not everybody watches your news all the time. <laughs> and, uh, but we are the number one uh, international news channel in Europe who are uh, the most watched uh, international news channel. So that is the background. Coming to education, uh, first of all, we started some years ago uh, a program uh, banking on our multilingualism capacity, whose name is Tell Me More. Uh, Tell Me More, it is a program which is available on the web and which gives you the possibility to improve your level in foreign languages. Uh, for instance, but you are, so you will be watch, watching a, a Euronews program, in fact, and you will be asked some question of comprehension, and so you can improve yourself by uh, respond, by answering these questions and seeing at what level of uh, capacity you are. So that's the first, that was the first step into the education world. Uh, one year ago, we launched a uh, le learning world in association in partnership with the Qatar Foundation. And this is the reason for our presence here, because WISE, of course, is a, a product of the Qatar Foundation. And uh, Learning World has been um, broadcasting for one year now. We, have, uh, uh, we are going to, to increase uh, the production for the next year. Uh, we are producing um, a weekly program short, 10 minutes, but uh, rebroadcast 16 times in the week uh, in the 11 languages of Euronews. And uh, this program uh, gives some insight about the level of education at various levels, primary, high school, uh, university, uh, everywhere in the world. So it gives uh, it's a sampling of what's going on, uh, especially in terms of um, of um, um, advanced education, of uh, uh, looking to new tracks for uh, educating uh, uh, youngsters and uh, children. Uh, we have uh, also connection with, uh, it's an interactive program. Uh, we are using Facebook and Twitter, but maybe we'll come to that later. Um, in September, we had uh, uh, 12, uh, 15,000, uh, 1,500 unique, uh, no, 15,000 unique browsers visited the Learning World pages on Euronews, and uh, 5,000 uh, Learning World videos were started, to give you some figures, which is uh, twice as high as it was in June, so we are progressing rapidly. And on the side, uh, I should say that uh, uh, behind Europe, the Middle East is, uh, uh, Asia and Middle East are the second region of origin of, uh, of our uh, uh, visitors. And uh, that uh, the main countries uh, visiting our sites are uh, Russia, France, uh, US, Italy, and Turkey, to give you a sample of uh, what we are doing. Thank you.